A 27-year-old man died on Wednesday following an accident involving a minibus, a lorry and a motorcycle on East Coast Parkway ECP. A 38-year-old male passenger of the minibus was arrested and is assisting the police with investigations. When contacted on Thursday, the police and Singapore Civil Defence Force said they were alerted to an accident along ECP towards the city before the Marina Coastal Expressway MC exit at around 11 a.m. on Wednesday. The motorcyclist was unconscious when taken to Tan Tok Sun Hospital, where he subsequently died, police said, adding that investigations are ongoing. Photos of the aftermath of the accident circulating on Instagram showed the badly damaged motorcycle behind a lorry. Parts of the motorcycle including a side mirror were scattered across the road, along with a sleeper, bandages, shatters of glass and a trail of blood. Miss Lin Longyam, 32, a home care nurse, told the Straits Times she was on her way to her patient's home when she saw a motorcyclist lying motionless in a pool of blood on the leftmost lane of the road. Miss Longyam immediately got out of her car and called the ambulance. She tried to talk to the motorcyclist, but he was unresponsive. Four other motorists joined her to assist the man and divert traffic. Realizing that the motorcyclist had no pulse, Miss Longyam and another bystander, chiropractor Ashley Liu, 36, took turns to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR on him for 10 minutes until an ambulance arrived. Miss Longyam said, as a nurse, it was only natural to have stepped up to help the man. When Mr. Liu and I were performing CPR, we were getting quite tired. Knowing that there were other bystanders trying with me to help the man kept me going. Mr. Liu's wife, Miss Sandra Faustina, 32, who was also at the scene, told ST that the driver of the lorry told them that he had abruptly stopped his vehicle after the minibus in front of him had suddenly braked. The move caused the motorcyclist behind the lorry to hit the vehicle, according to the lorry driver. Miss Faustina said the lorry driver also told her that the motorcyclist was left unattended on the road for 15 to 30 minutes after being hit before Miss Longyam had approached him.